All right guys, this is how I wash my work truck. All right, so first of all, I parked it here under our uh, our shade structure here, and I'm just gonna do a walk around and kind of look at our problem spots. Most of this stuff's gonna come off with a power washer. We got a lot of dirt around the tires, in the rims. Notice how I put the underlift here at this angle here so I can get the underside and the top side. Got some grease splotches over there truck went through the rain and such so that's why it's pretty dirty we'll go ahead and close this up black here needs uh, some work and then our windshields bug splattered as well as our bumper went down south with the truck so it just got plastered with uh, with bugs so that's kind of our walk around we know what we got to tackle now personally I use a power washer to knock as much loose debris off as I can. Then I'll go with my foam cannon and I'll spray uh, soap. And depending on how bad or how much is left behind from the uh, from the power washer, I'll take a microfiber sponge and I'll give it a wipe. But we'll, uh, I guess, just see how it goes. So first step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my power washer and knock down as much of the loose debris as I can. So let's go ahead and get, uh, do that. I like to stretch it all the way out. the bottom.
now that we've uh, knocked all the loose debris down, what we're gonna do is take the foam cannon and foam the whole truck and uh, see what that does. All right, now it's time to use the foam cannon. The foam cannon's got uh, 800 milliliters of water and 200 milliliters of soap to make uh, 1,000 milliliters total solution here. So it just mounts straight onto your, uh, straight on like so to the gun. And then I think you guys are gonna like this, so. do since we foam the whole truck is we're just gonna let the foam drip like it's doing right now that's taking all the loose debris and taking it down essentially what you could do is a, uh, a scrubless wash this truck's a little too dirty in my opinion to do a scrubless wash uh, so we'll go ahead and use a microfiber sponge to scrub but if you stayed on top of your truck every uh, you know a few weeks and did this then it'd be sufficient but since I went through the rain and stuff it got really dirty, but usually that's what I do is I'll spray it like this, let it drip, rinse it with the power washer, and then I'll be done. So we're just gonna let this uh, foam drip for a bit and then uh, we'll talk to you in a bit. Okay, now what we're gonna do is take a bucket here of fresh water. This is gonna be our rinse bucket. We already got the soap on the uh, on the truck, so now we're gonna use this as our rinse bucket. Make sure it's clean. Make sure there's no old tire uh, dust and stuff like that in the bottom of the bucket. That's where you get little swirl marks all over your truck. All right, that should be good. Let's go ahead and take our microfiber sponge here. Microfiber is going to cause the least amount of scratches to your truck or to any painted surface. Going to wet it. Start top to bottom. These pockets right here are notorious for catching stuff in them. Alright. And 
usually what I'll do is I'll do a wipe on the white paint and uh, I'll spray that down with the uh, power washer. That's usually sufficient up there. Top to bottom, top to bottom. Now the soap that I'm using is made by Granitize. So far it's the best soap that I've found inside of the uh, inside of the foam cannon. It's uh, It has a wax built into it so it protects the paint and it's safe on chrome surfaces. And uh, it smells good. It smells like bubble gum. And it's kind of got like a pink tint to it which is good because you can I de or, uh, distinguish it from the white paint. That's nice, nice feature. Notice how I'm not going over the, the tires or anything like that. I'm gonna use that stiff brush to do the tires. You wanna avoid getting this filled with a bunch of nasty stuff. Now I'm not too worried about the windshield because I have a, uh, a really strong glass cleaner that knocks down all the bugs, the watermarks, everything like that. So rather than getting up there right now and uh, tackling it, I just, uh, I'll, I'll spray it down and get all the soap off of it. But later, once I'm doing the final touch-ups, I'll get up there with the glass cleaner, spray it, and it'll uh, fix that right up. Alright guys, well this side is almost done. We're going to go ahead and do our brush here. Now, since I'm using the brush now, I'm going to change the water after this because tire dust tends to become really nasty. Just give it a good scrubbing because one, there's built up tire product on there, which attracts dirt so we can uh, get it back to regular tire and then uh, add on new product see how black and nasty that water already got and set this up here so we go in the rim do a spin spin, spin. front one
Now this job's a lot easier when you have more people with you. Unfortunately right now everyone else is on calls. So I'm going solo. Alright, so go ahead and dump that out for the other side. Put some fresh water in there. And then uh alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side just like I did this side and then uh, we'll come back over here. Okay, so since I'm alone, I'm gonna rinse this uh, this side off and uh, get all the loose soap off, and then I'll go to the other side and do sponge and soap. The key is to keep it wet so it doesn't dry spot. So let's go ahead and do that. Now that we uh, got all the soap out of the truck, what we're gonna do is take these two microfiber drying towels and we're gonna dry the whole truck. Nothing really special here, you guys know the drill. Just gonna dry the truck. Uh, I'm gonna start probably here on the glass, at least glass that I can reach here. I'm 
starting top to bottom. Just working my way down. Now these towels will not be used on the tires. I have a different one. So yeah, you guys get the drill. I'm gonna go ahead and dry this off really quick and I'll see you guys after I'm done. All right guys, so we got the whole truck dried off. I'm starting to put tire shine on now. I already did this wheel here. Now we're gonna do this tire over here. So what I just do is I spray some on this brush. That way I don't overspray onto the rim itself. And I just spread it around. To move the truck a little bit to get the very bottom but you get the point so definitely when washing a truck this size you're not going to get everything on the first try it's going to take a few washes to get perfect spray wax is my best friend any little smudges that I see that I miss, spray wax can usually take care of. So I usually keep a big bottle of uh, Zephyr Spody Odi. is what I use. That's, that stuff works wonders on this truck. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a tire shine to the other side and uh, I'll show you guys where we're at after that. All right guys, well unfortunately I was not able to do as much of this video as I wanted to since duty does call and I did get a call so I did have to stop a little early. But you guys get the point. I did do what I had to do in the video for the most part. The only thing that I did additionally was take a little bit of glass cleaner to all the glass, make sure that that's perfectly clear. And other than that, we're all good. Now what I do to maintain this shine is I use a little bit of spray wax after uh, most of my calls. Just wipe down any little uh, paw prints or any little loose debris that need to come off so with that being said guys like comment subscribe thank you for watching let me know what you think about it hopefully you guys realize how clean i keep my truck and uh, how prideful i am of it so stay tuned for the next one guys